One that jumped out at me too, Dan, was that Division Three approved that the NCAA could have a 90th championship. We're going to have to change the Elite 89 award next year to Elite 90. <laughs> right. Um, and women's sand volleyball has been approved. But I found it interesting, and I talked to Sharon Herzberger about this too. We talk about tight financial times. We talk about tight budgets for championships. And granted, no two school in Division Three currently has a women's sand ball, vo sand volleyball champion or team of any kind. But the membership voted overwhelmingly to approve it as a sport as well which right. conceivably would put pressure on um, certain colleges if they want to add the sport financially it's going to add more of a financial burden on the NCAA Division 3 level if a championship is born granted this isn't happening next year I understand but that was an interesting kind of back and forth you've got schools and in, in, in a division that is clearly worried about the money in the future but adding a sport potentially as a championship yeah i think for the right school it would pay for itself uh, remember when sure. schools make that decision to add sports they typically you know obviously their, their financial analysis will suggest from an enrollment management side yep. um, that, that 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 the numbers will work and I think for the right school Sam volleyball could be very successful um, there have been other concerns in the past that prevented d3 from embracing the concept one was um, what it's called and how women are portrayed and, and dressed during the, the event and that I think we've been able to successfully move uh, beyond that. Um, another concern was the fact that it, it might be the same women playing sand volleyball that are playing indoor volleyball. Yeah. And we've got some pretty good data from the Volleyball uh, Association that, that clarifies that, hey, pretty quickly after the, these programs are established, most of your players are, are sand players, not, uh, not yeah. uh, volleyball players. And that, I think, was very helpful in getting the proposals adopted. I think think also, yeah, they, they tend to end up being two different sports right? Uh, in, a, in a very big scheme. And it's not like these are large teams necessarily either. You're not bringing in 100 women <laughs> to play sand volleyball right. necessarily. Dan